Starting where it all ended, the Aggies shot the lights out in Reno against Utah State in the first half of their semifinal matchup, leading by 13 of the half thanks to an 8 of 11 three-point shooting effort. January 31st, the Aggies were flying high against Hawaii as Wendell McInnes threw down two alley-oops, and MSU won the game 82-72 thanks in part to this electric performance. Up next, Wendell McInnes vandalizes Idaho's Travis Blackstock. McInnes's double-double of 15 points and 11 rebounds helped the Aggies defeat the Vandals 74-71. In the Bracket Buster game against Cal State Fullerton, sophomore Gordo Castillo scored 20 points, shooting 6 of 8 from beyond the arc. Gordo's sharp shooting helped lead the Aggies down the Titans 94-86. January 22nd in Boise, Idaho, Jamar Young dropped 32 on the Broncos in Taco Bell Arena. Young's 32 were a season high for the WAX leading scorer. Against UTEP on December 14th, the Aggies defeated their I-10 rivals 90-78 behind another strong performance from Jamar Young. Young tallied 22 points in the victory as his speed and accuracy kept the UTEP defenders on their heels. February 16th, the Aggies took on La Tech. Hamadou Rahman dunks late in the game to end La Tech's comeback bid and send the Aggies on to a 65-63 win. In the first round of the WAC tournament, the Aggies met Boise State. NMSU was denied their bid for revenge when the Broncos visited Las Cruces, but came out on top this time as Jonathan Gibson scored 22 points. Wendell McInnes put a nail in Nevada's coffin in Reno on February 7th. His three-pointer with one minute on the clock gave the Aggies the lead for good as they would go on to win 62-60 over the Wolfpack. Jamar Young took center stage in overtime against Fresno State on Valentine's Day, scoring nine of his game-high 23 in the extra period. Young's nine helped the Aggies outscore the Bulldogs 13-5 in OT on their way to a 79-71 victory.